أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Today inshallah we'll be talking about a disease that is very silent and subhanallah we uh, all have except that the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala touches the person uh, but otherwise we all subhanallah have this disease that kills the raha, yaktur raha and in no relaxation subhanallah um, and forbids the happiness, forbids happiness, and uh, the Sheikh is saying say that be careful with it, be very careful, um, because this disease is very quiet, and he is one of the worst, the one of the worst diseases that we could have. You can't see its symptoms, you cannot see the symptoms, and you don't feel without, with any effect doesn't have effects on the person and that you can see. Um, if he gets a hold of the person, he will hurt him. It will hurt him. It will hurt him back. Um, this disease, it's the disease of getting used to the ni'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Getting used to, to the ni'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of them is that you get so used to the ni'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like if it's not ni'am, it's not bounty. All the mercy of Allah, it becomes like if it's not a mercy. And you will lose the feeling of it, that it's actually it's a ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like if it is our right to have it. It is our right to have it. Um, for example, we go to our houses every single day. We come out from our houses, we get in the car, we leave, and it's normal. We come back to our houses, and we see our family here, and it's normal. Um, we didn't take nobody to the hospital, we didn't take nobody to the emergency room, and it's normal for us. There is no shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that once we enter to our houses and we see our wives or kids playing and mashallah running around, very few remembers that this is a bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that actually we came back to a house that everybody is bihayr, everybody is in with a good situation. And we forget to, subhanAllah, يعني, make shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make alhamd. And like we said, we are all guilty of it. We got so used to it that every day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us and have rahmah on us. That we go to our homes and we find them well. And it becomes, it's normal, I'm expecting that. That's my right. I have my security cameras. My doors are locked, why not? It should be that way. And we forget to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that ni'mah, and it is a ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as well, one of the ni'mah that we all do subhanAllah every day, we go to a supermarket, Publix, Costco, Walgreens, and we take a cart. Doesn't matter how big is that cart. And we go around and we look at the product. And we could have any single product we want. We pull it from the shelf, drop it in the cart. Normal. This is like it's happened. It's our right to do it. And we reach the cashier after all what we desired, all what we wanted, and that the cashier we pay for it. It's normal. We don't even thank the money, the one that has allowed us to do all that. It becomes every routine. And this is what the disease the Sheikh is talking about. It's a very bad disease that we get used to this now. And then we pay for it, no issues. It was expected. It doesn't matter how much it was. Maybe we just gave a credit card. And whatever the amount is the amount. But at least I got what I wanted. 
and what I desire. And then we go back to our homes with it. And it's normal. And subhanAllah, we lose that feeling of it's actually it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He blessed me with it. And we forget to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the very, very dangerous disease that we can thank Allah. As you know, the ni'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we get, all the blessing that we have from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the only way to lock it and to keep it, it say, Alhamdulillah. That's the only way to lock those ni'am. You have to realize that it is first a ni'mah from Allah. And thank Allah for it. وَلَئِنْ شَكَرْتُمْ لَزِيدَنَّكُمْ If you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will give us more. But we have to remember the first part of it. We have to do shukr. We have to say alhamd. One of the, um, uh, one of the uh, followers of Musa alayhi salam, he turned around to Musa and he says to him, Ya Musa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed me with so much and so many. Um, how can I thank Allah? What shall I do to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So Musa, after getting the revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he told him, just say, Alhamdulillah. Can I pay Allah for what he's doing, for what he's done to us, or he's doing to us? The only way is to recognize it. We have to recognize that he, it is from him, and it is a blessing of, from him. SubhanAllah, and we have to thank him. Um, one of the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us every single day, and we wake up every morning, we wake up and we are in safety and peace. It's one of the ni'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, our health is in good health when we wake up. Some of us don't. But the one that wakes up with a good health, forget to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we don't, when we wake up, we don't complain from bad, whatever it is, diseases or something that hurts us. We wake up, alhamdulillah, we just go as normal. We don't even pay attention. That it is a ni'mah from Allah to get up from your bed. It is a ni'mah from Allah to go to the bathroom. People can't go to the bathroom. There was a, 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 an old man, apparently he went to the, to the doctor, and, and the doctor, uh, he couldn't go to the bathroom, and the doctor, subhanAllah, fixed him, and, and he, uh, and then when the, uh, the kids were with him and uh, they said how much do owe you and whatever, the, the price was said and the, the father started crying. So the kids thought he's crying because of the amount of money that he's paid, that, he's, that the doctor told him. But he said, Dad, why are you crying? It's okay. He said, I'm not crying for the price. I'm crying for the last 70 years I used to go to the bathroom and do it with no pain. And the first time that the pain held me, I came to the doctor and look how much he charged me. For 70 years I did not thank Allah for being and relieving myself, myself, on my own, without nobody helping me. And it is a ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why we have to remember the dua. Whenever we go to the bathroom, Allah, we have to remember and remember the dua that when we leave. Alhamdulillah, ladhi adhab an al-adha wa'afan. This is a big name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who values it, who knows about it, is the one that lost it. He is the only one that subhanAllah feels it. And then um, the shirk keeps going and he says, um, if you do these things, if you do all this ni'am that person, you don't thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be careful, you are in danger. Be careful, you are in danger. Um, he said if you get used to the mercy of Allah, you're used to the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you eat, and there is somebody else that did not eat. Not only that, 
there is somebody else that slept hungry and you slept full. And there is as well worse than that. There is somebody else that has the food, has the money, has everything, but he cannot eat. He cannot eat. But subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us food and we enjoy that food. We enjoy it. SubhanAllah. So we have to be thankful to Allah and thank Him a lot. Thank Him a lot. Um, if we enter our house and Allah has blessed us with protection and the love in our house, and maybe we find our mother or our father, or maybe we find our wife and our children in good health and they're happy. We have to thank Allah. We have to thank Allah a lot for that. And do not make this life force you to get used to the na'am of the na'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but force this life to get used to thanking Allah for those na'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to remember that everything that we have, just being in this mission, coming here and be able to fulfill a fault, it is a ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, so here is reminding us, when somebody asks you what's new, don't say nothing is new. Do not say nothing is new. We are in a lot of ni'am that repeats itself every day on us. Every day. We are in new, new ni'am. Every day we have it. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala renewed it all, uh, on us. And we have to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and give him his shukr. Because others, they have been deprived from it. Others have been deprived from it. Uh, last week I spoke to a few of us who have concealed weapon license. I put you in specific, specific places. Please remain where you are. And if I can speak to you and you have a concealed weapon license, come talk to me in the back. This is for security measure. Thank you. So how many people, subhanAllah, they slept in peace and they woke up fearful? They woke up fearful. And how many of us slept in good health? And we woke up, subhanAllah, in sick. وأشهد أن الحمد لله رب العالمين وجزاكم الله خير. السلام عليكم.